What's up everybody? Uh, Mike back here. This is the last day of week five for HVAC school. Um, I want to come in here and just basically give a, an update. We have been doing every night pumping down systems, um, working on doing our mechanical checklists, getting down the information. So basically the information is down. It's already been provided. There's no more tests. There's no more studying. I'm sorry. There's no more quizzes, nothing. Basically now it's mastering that mechanical chest checklist and uh, doing the the sweep and clear on your, your, your manifold and asking any residual questions you may have. Um, this weekend I'd like to go ahead and do like a walkthrough on the mechanical checklist. I won't be able to do the return and supply air because I don't want to crawl up into my attic and, and dick around with my uh, air handler. But I do want to at least do the external unit. In the class, we do have one split system, but then the rest of them are um, package units, 410A and R22. Um, but at, at this point, we have hit everything that we needed to hit with this phase. Uh, I think the next phase that we're going into is electric. And after that, uh, I don't know where we go, but... I'll be letting you all know. Um, but the, the one thing I wanted to touch on is, I, I know that there's not a lot of views on these videos and there's probably a lot of these people passing through, but if you're passing through, please leave a comment on feedback for me uh, regarding my content. Uh, if there's something that I could be doing better, if there's information that I'm not covering that you'd like to hear covered. Again, this is my first phase, so it's my first month of a nine month program. Uh, but I just it would be better for me because I do want to make this content on this channel as elaborate as possible if that's if that's what I can say um, I want to be able to really show a clear and concise message I again I'm not going to be very elaborate on the school I'm going to but I do want to be elaborate on the curriculum and again, if this is right for someone. Um, I'm a part of a couple uh, groups on Facebook, HVAC Know-It-All, um, HVAC Technicians, and HVAC Mess-Ups and Fails or something. But um, I threw a question out to the HVAC Technicians page and basically asked them what, you know, what would they want to see or what information should I post on here. And the one thing that I did notice that I stressed it, that they stressed it was... Uh, Although I'm going to school, I'm still going to walk out of this not knowing shit. And I know that. I know I'm going to walk into a, a, a career and a field that, I'm, that I could have all the goddamn education in the world. And I'm not going to know all the little tips and tricks. I'm just getting an educational foundation of the simple knowledge, knowledge and logistics of... Sorry, not logistics, but the foundation of the damn HVAC field. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting elaborate information now. Later on in this this program, there is advanced troubleshooting where you hook up your your gauges and you have to troubleshoot. That's a part of the, the class, and you, that's your passive fail. But we'll get to that point. Um, the final for this class is a written exam. There's a take-home test. I have to take. There's five questions. I have to pick five of them. I have to write them all out um, or type them all out and email them to my instructor. Um, and then there is what they call the stand and deliver. The stand and deliver is basically the mechanical checklist breakdown, and I want to walk through that this weekend if time allows me to. Um, basically, you're getting your static pressure, your, your uh, running discharge pressure, your running suction pressure, your suction line temperature, your liquid line temperature, and then you're calculating your superheat and your subcooling. And I have, a, as I showed you in the video, I have the uh, little thermocouple that attaches to my um, my uh, multimeter so that makes it a little easier but that only reads the suction line and liquid line temperatures to get the to get the information for the discharge and the you know return air and supplier I have to use the other side of the thermocouple which is a little wire because I don't have a um, I don't have a folding uh, thermometer and if this camera moved at any time during this video because I'm over here doing jank shit I'm sorry um, but I know I'm all over the place right now because my, my, my brain's going a mile a minute because I, I, I'm going to get inside. But 
again, the school is it's great. The, the information I'm learning is amazing because it's stuff I didn't know. Um, but again, I, I really want just want to ask anybody that even if you come across this video or any one of my videos, I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this to get famous. I'm not doing this for anything. I'm just doing this so that I can try to help anybody that's thinking about going to HVAC school. And any criticism, any feedback, anything that I might be able to do different is is would be helpful. I'm not gonna. I'm not putting a lot of money into this. My wife got me a new phone, the Note 10 Plus. It takes really good camera quality. And my buddy bought me a, uh, or he gave me a little like bendable tripod, which I'm doing this in my car. So I wasn't. You weren't looking up at me. Um, but again, I appreciate anybody that watches this. And if I can help any of you, let me know. You can send me an email. Um, any questions, comments, please. I appreciate it. Thanks.